Now, after everything that happened the past couple of days, Ben Paul decided to apologize to his ex-wife, Annalisa Mwigai. Welcome to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. So, as we have been covering, of course, I've been giving you updates on Annalisa and Ben Paul. And in fact, she had written that he needs to stop talking about her. In fact, she wrote this, I dare you to screenshot what you have been sending me since 25th December to 4th January 2023. I have a lot to say about slash show you, but I choose to be a lady. It's simple. Stop talking about me. And Annalisa decided the next day that she's just going to share those texts that Ben Paul was sending her. And as you can see, I can see sadness in these pictures. This was a photo that Ben Paul had shared with Annalisa through their WhatsApp messages. And he further went ahead to say, some people love me unconditionally, but they never understand when I love you unconditionally. Better the devil you know than the angel you don't know. We know each other. Me and you are kind of the same person. Two people, same personality, two knacks in a good way, healed and grown sweet, wild, humble. Still, some of the conversations, as you can see, mom's been asking for you, by the way, for days. she be like, VP, Kenya mwewasiliana mnaongea. And of course, we can see here that Annalisa blocked um, Ben Paul. You blocked this contact. And so from these messages, there are no replies from Annalisa, whether they have been deleted or not. But we can see the sequence of the messages as to how they're coming. They are within minutes apart, seconds apart. It seems that he continued to send messages, but he was not getting any response until he was blocked. And after these text messages, Annalisa did put out that she does not want to talk about her ex anymore. As you can see, after a long calculated thought, I decided not to talk about my past relationship because I realized it's really not worth my time and I'm better than that. But just to make something clear to Ben, it's been two years since we separated. I'm not your wife and clearly not your friend. Move on and stop hoping we will get back together. It will never happen. You know very well if I did an interview siju utaficha sura wapi so to save you from embarrassment keep any topics about me away from your mouth even positives about me and focus on your mental issues my name cannot be used every time you feel irrelevant or want to promote your songs if the music career has failed then look for a job or go back to school done and it seems that Annalisa has a lot to say from that message that she put out on her Insta stories, which also seems like a threat. If he dares her, she will be spilling the beans like she did with those WhatsApp messages. And she even said, sometimes silence is good, but silence can make you look guilty and can also destroy your name. Should I talk the real truth about everything or should I still maintain my silence? Well, from the look of things, it seemed like Ben Paul would prefer Annalisa to maintain her silence as he took to apologize to his ex-wife. Ben Paul wrote, I want to apologize for the things I said about my marriage during my series of interviews with Millard Ayo, which started broadcasting on the 13th of January 2023. My intention was never to hurt, but to share my experience of the marriage, an experience I take full responsibility for. I also wanted to articulate how it affected my mental health. However, I recognized that my words were hurtful to my ex-wife and I apologize to her and to the public. While I do want to continue to talk about mental health and speak about my experiences i will strive to do so in a way that is more mindful and more constructive sincerely ben now whether he wants to share his experiences whether positive or negative it still seems that analisa does not want the mention of his past experience of his marriage or their marriage that is that should not be mentioned in any of those interviews whether he has good things to say about analisa he needs to zip it so it seems like this is a topic that um ben paul is walking on a red zone where he's not allowed to ever talk about his past specifically his marriage and from the look of things, those who are hopeful that the lovebirds, former lovebirds, will be getting back together, like Ben Paul had mentioned in his interview. He still loves Annalisa. His feelings did not just die with the marriage. And of course, putting out that maybe there can be a chance of them getting back together if the issues that they had 
are tackled. So from the look of things, that will not be happening as Annalisa does not even consider him as a friend. I don't know if he would have stuck to the positive side of their marriage from the first interview that he did that got Annalisa angry. Perhaps the narrative will be different right now. That, that's it. You're up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also turn on your post notifications and notified once we have any new uploads. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.